Hi, in this episode, we'll see about the industrial water treatment, mainly pressure sand filter, activated carbon filter, and softener. Normally, raw water enters the water treatment plant. Raw water entering the water treatment plant is first treated in the pressure sand filter. That is to remove suspended solid or suspended impurities, microorganisms, and organic impurities. The pressure sand filter bed is packed with 60% material. The top portion is called white space. From bottom, the bed is packed with pebbles, silex coats, silex fines or gravel, coarse size and fine size. Above the fine sand is placed and topmost layer is filled with anthracite coal. The bed material removes mud, clay, dirt, silt, algae, bacteria and microorganisms in the raw water and thereby the turbidity is reduced. The turbidity is measured l- less than 5 normal turbidity unit in the PSF outlet filtered water. How the microorganism is removed now we can see. Immediately after the commissioning of the pressure sand filter, the topmost layer will be coated with reddish brown sticky deposit. This sticky deposit is because of it partly decomposed organic matter which formed together with iron, manganese, silica and with algae, uh, sulfur reducing bacteria and protozoa. And this layer is called squamid deck or dirty skin. This dirty skin is not only breaks down the organic impurities but also converts them into harmless compounds and destroy the microorganism each other, straining the impurities too. The squamid deck or dirty skin plays a vital role in all the units in water treatment plant. Pressure sand filter is backwash once in 24 hours daily to remove the deposited suspended impurities. Pressure sand filter bed inlet is provided either with Belmont arrangement or with distribution sinus to have equal distribution of water. The distribution sinus will be provided in inlet header as well as in outlet header also. The proper distribution of water is required to avoid channeling of water. Channeling of water is nothing but a water flow to a particular path only. To avoid that equal distribution is required which is occurred by means of the distribution sinus. The deposited suspended Impurities are suspended solids and algae are removed by backwashing the filter once in 24 hours or if the pressure drop across the filter exceeds 1 bar or 1 kg per centimeter squared. Normally, every day in the morning, the pressure sand filter is backwashed. The backward procedure is initially the vent is opened and Air scoring is given to loosen the bed and then backwashed with 1.25 to 1.5 times the maximum flow which is used in service until the outlet water becomes clear. Initially, the algae, all the algae and other dead materials will come out of the backwash outlet water. Until it becomes clear, you have to continue the backwash. Backwash flow should not exceed more than 1.5 times service flow as that will affect the stomach deck or dirty skin that will, and the cement deck will get disturbed and slippage of microorganism will take place unknowingly. The cement deck or dirty skin formed immediately after the commissioning will get disturbed because of the backward flow which is more than 1.5 times the service flow. Unknowingly if you increase the backwash flow to have effective backwash that will affect the dirty skin layer or skimmed deck thin layer over the bed packing. Always keep pressure sand filter bed soaked in water also. It should not get dried out. That also will help the dirty skin intact. This is the schematic diagram of pressure sand filter. This pressure sand filter bed packing this is 60%. This is the raw water inlet line with isolation wall. This is the backwash line with isolation wall. 
joining the outlet header and this is the air scoring inlet line from the blower vent line this is a backwash outlet line and this is service outlet line with isolation wall going to the actuator carbon filter normally the raw water coming from the raw water pump house will enter the pressure and filter top either through bell mode or distribution strainer arrangement this will water will get distributed equally and it flow through the packed bed material and all the algae suspended solids organic matters and microorganism get filtered and filtered water coming out of the bed the delta p that is pressure inlet and outlet difference is more than 1 bar or 1 kg per centimeter square then the pressure and filter will be taken for the backwash the delta p is more or once in 24 hours we have to do the backwash of the pressure and filter the skimmed deck arrangement will be above the belt layer also it will form in the wall inlay inlet inside walls of the sand filter also it will form in the activated carbon filter we can also see in the other song acid cation unit or softener or song base anion units the filtered water coming out of the out of the pressure filter is coming to activated carbon filter acf which is packed with activated carbon as usual 60% this acf is provided to remove free residual chlorine which is due to the chlorination or uh, dosing in bleaching powder hypochlorite uh, solution in raw water to kill the microorganism is organic and organic compound which is coming along with the water and also coloring material coloring is coming to to algae also some suspended solids and algae slip from psf will get filtered by acf acf also should be backwashed once in 24 hours to remove the deposited suspended impurities which carried over from the pressure and filter acf outlet branches is going to softener or strong acid cation unit the acf is provided to remove free residual chlorine if free residual chlorine is not removed by the acf the free residual chlorine will break or it will cut the polymer chain of the resin resin is polymerized chain and that the chain is cut that will leads to fine formation and reduction in resin volume so that fines will be removed when we give backwash during the regeneration also that chlorine will get loaded in strong base anion unit the acf outlet is going to softener the softener unit removes the hardness from water soft water is used for process requirement or in low pressure boilers the activated carbon filter outlet water is coming to softener the softener or strong acid cation which is going to produce tm water is is having a process called ion exchange ion exchange is a chemical reaction which is reversible the resin type is called sulfonated polystyrene which we discussed in previous slide the polymer chain if free residual chlorine is slipped or not get getting filtered in the acf or if acf, ACF is not provided in the water treatment plant the free residual chlorine which is used to kill microorganism in the pre treatment or in the before used coming to the wltp that frc will break the polymer chain uh, that will lead to fine formation and the fines will be removed during the regeneration so resin volume will get reduced the color of the softener or strong acid cation resin is golden yellow and the resin density is 1.3 to 1.4 g per cc normally raw water is having cation and anion that cation is calcium sodium and magnesium rarely potassium is present now in our raw water normally potassium will not be present this calcium as calcium chloride calcium sulfate calcium bicarbonate sodium chloride sodium bicarbonate sodium sulfate magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate and magnesium bicarbonate 
are replaced with H plus ion in strong acid cation and in softener calcium and magnesium cations will be replaced with sodium ions in the softener unit. As ion exchange we have the resin in the form of either RH plus or RNA plus that, that will be packed in the softener or strong acid cation. Both softener and ACG resins are same. But softener is generated with sodium chloride 10% solution and hence RNA resin form is like RNA and the NA plus is a replaceable ion. And strong acid cation is regenerated with hydrochloric acid 5% or sulfuric acid 3 to 3.5%. So the resin form, form will be RH plus. And this is the equation for the resin after it get exhausted in softener. When calcium and magnesium get absorbed in the bed that is replaced with sodium, the resin form will be R2CA and R2MG. Normally we will not allow the bed to exhaust completely when the yield is there. Well, the yield is uh, occurred or if the harness is slipping then we will take softener for regeneration. This is the regeneration equation. 10% sodium chloride is injected in the softener bed that will react with the resin bed. That sodium ion will replace this calcium and magnesium and will join with the bed as RNA. The calcium chloride and magnesium chloride will go to the drain. This is the schematic diagram of softener unit. The softener unit bed is packed with resin in the form of RNA plus the actuator carbon filter is coming to the bed and the total harness is getting removed and soft, soft water is stored in the storage unit. This is the ACF in outlet line coming to the softener, this is the backwash outlet, backwash inlet line and this is the injection line and this is the regeneration outlet line and this is the backwash outlet line, air vent wall outlet line and the one more line is going to the drain. The service reaction we can see here now. Normally water will have harness because of chlorates and sulfates and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. Chlorates with calcium and magnesium and sulfates with calcium and magnesium and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. These two will give permanent harness and this will give temporary harness. All together all these three will give total harness. When it comes contact with the bed, the RNA resin will replace the calcium and magnesium. This reaction is like this. Calcium chloride and magnesium chloride and sulfates of calcium and magnesium and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium, when it gets absorbed by the resin, it will become R2CA and RTMG. And the water will be with sodium chloride and sodium sulfate and also sodium bicarbonate. So water is getting get water is getting softened and that is called soft water and the harness will be zero. When the harness become more than 5 ppm, softener unit is taken for regeneration. Or if the yield crosses the stipulated value, then also we will take it for regeneration. Normally 10 percent solution of sodium chloride or common salt is used for the regeneration. The sodium chloride is prepared in the brain tank or brain solution tank. Normally we will get 23 to 24 percent only. Uh, after that it will get saturated. So brain solution is prepared in a separate tank. So softener unit is isolated. Initially we will give the backwash to loosen the resin and the dirt or suspended solids any person in the bed to get removed from the fence so that the injection will be equal and there won't be any restriction during the injection flow. After backwash is uh, finished, that is when the clear water comes through the backwash outlet line, we will stop the backwash operation, then go for brain injection. 10% sodium chloride is injected and this regeneration is counter current regeneration because services from top to bottom. So injection is from bottom to top to have an effective 
generation so there won't be any slippage from the bed so when the rain solution is admitted at the bottom it is collected from the top layer the resin will bed will get regenerated and after this final rinse is given top inlet water is coming and that will be drained out from the drain line and if the harness is value zero then we will stop the regeneration and bring back the unit to service so this is the regeneration procedure and this is the service reaction and this is the softener unit schematic diagram the total harness present in raw water is completely removed in the softener unit which we have seen in the previous slide soft water harness will be zero and if the th total hardness value exists by ppm or if the yield crosses the value softener is generated with the 10% sodium chloride solution which you have seen in the previous slide about the regeneration process hope you might have understand the initial stages of water treatment plant pressure and filter activated carbon filter and softener unit in the coming episode i will brief you about team units and mixer bed unit do not forget to subscribe and share my videos also put likes thank you very much